the reason why we need to test people how they climb is this is where the real thing happens this is when the body starts reacting this is when your head starts panicking this is when your heart rate goes up this is when you start sweating this is when you basically it just exposes everything that you are doing wrong so if you are doing wrong something wrong it gets amplified when we start climbing and we all heard about the dreaded climb our local bike fitters can make you super comfortable with the bike they have all the knowledge the tools all the measuring devices to guarantee that you have a comfortable setup biomechanics on the other hand will guarantee that that initial comfort will now be exceeded by comfort plus performance on the climb on the flats on the time trial and all the skills now not numbers data and this is what i've uh, we mentioned in our in our talk a while ago a computer will never see how your face is starting to change and this is important and you can feel the pain right now i'm just gonna count down 20 seconds keep on going i'm just gonna count down 20 seconds let's just pretend that you're gonna approach the summit yeah okay wow do you feel your legs yeah a few really heavy huh yeah man because that's lactic acid accumulating okay. on a certain part of the leg and when you have that lactic acid it just feels heavy jello legs right yeah and one of the things that you also notice is that once you get to that point your head starts to lose focus yes you just want to survive the climb so all good so far so good okay these are good bike Speed okay let's so the first part is after the bike fit yeah. just try to feel it. just give yourself time to just understand your bike again okay so your wrist the way you get more support now on the hoods you don't feel like you're sliding forward etc okay so just I'll give you 60 seconds just to feel it before we move forward don't say anything just just talk to yourself okay some more some more some more stop I'm just gonna break okay we just want to capture that moment so at least now you really feel like you're you feel this tension over here like you're doing chest press you can feel this muscle here yes. then this one you're pulling down like yeah it's like you're yeah that's it yeah you feel it all of a sudden this activates yes like you're doing crunches yeah right yes you feel it so this is where the, the start of the power comes from later. The torque will be generated here. Okay. A while ago, the reason why you were moving around, left and right, is because you were not using this. Number two, you would feel this now. Yes. Right? Yes. Next, you would start feeling your bicep. The, the forearm, like really pulling. And like a while ago, you were hanging on for dear life. Agree. This one, the more that you grip down, the more that you activate your core. Okay that's what we're going to be using okay done Stop. so that's how we try to modify the bike for a specific style of driving okay if i was going to teach you f1 well i got to teach you how to be ready for the g-forces yeah totally different a while ago your car was a family no, sedan yeah very, very comfortable yeah. going to the grocery yes. this one is like we just got you a porsche cayenne sport it yeah. can be used for grocery yeah it can be used to bring the kids to the soccer field but you can use it on track day all right so that's how it, okay so we're done with that now we're gonna start focusing on amg all right the engine okay so stand by okay so we're done with the bike fit let's now see let's now see how your body is naturally forced to adapt Meaning after three years of your cycling, let's see if we can modify it in a span of how many minutes was that? 5, 10, 20. plus 10, 20, 20 minutes. minutes. So this was a 20 minute biomechanical tuning session. Okay, so I'm, let me just summarize what was wrong with your, no, not, not wrong, but area of improvement of your climbing. Number one, you didn't use some of your muscles. How did we know that? You would twist around. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Number two, it's on your face. It was very obvious. All right. You were in pain. You were uncomfortable, even though, even though the irony is, you fitted the bike to be super comfortable. In fact, the stem was upright, everything else 
was designed for you to be comfortable all right and yet when you were climbing you felt uncomfortable so maybe that just proves that bike fitting does not fix your climbing style all right okay so however we had to change the setup of your bike because there will be certain postures that you have to do to generate a massive amount of torque so torque is related to power because power do you have a power meter yes you have okay power is equal to torque times cadence cadence okay what you were doing before because you had low torque you had to compensate by increasing your cadence and what was the result high heart rate now because we we saw that's how you would ri be riding and it didn't work for you that's why you're here what's the other alternative solution if you keep doing what you were doing your improvements will be incremental so for us to just boost your improvement yeah. let's look at the opposite route still using the same equation power is equal to torque times rpm your torque is low your rpm is high to have the same power right this time we do the opposite we increase your torque so that we can lower the cadence and rpm if we lower your cadence and rpm what will happen you will have a lower heart rate all right because you're not a young man anymore so this only applies for seniors like us okay so for you young people well you're lucky we're very jealous so hold on here now climbing the way you hold is three fingers underneath this one goes here like you want to distribute the pressure to a bigger surface area okay and then while you're doing that you make an effort to push yourself there you go okay just push yourself backward this is how you would climb if the climb is more than three or four kilometers okay. stay upright using okay. your core so we're gonna start climbing now and you know how to climb now scrape lift up okay ready set go slowly I want you to compare this compared to your warm-up a while ago this is how you climb okay so this is your posture climbing if it's long distance okay very nice just keep that going for you to produce tension on the inner thigh muscles so I like the alignment of your knee almost brushing the top tube I like it I like the angle of your wrist very relaxed the way you are holding the brake hoods is very good you are more in control and like a while ago you were gripping it right you were gripping it so hard that your wrist muscles will start getting tired okay now let's go to the more challenging part let us now try a posture where you can produce more torque there you go now push easy don't go explosive okay okay now down push there you go down lift I like it up push but control the down keep on going this is what you do when you want to produce more torque using your lat muscles this one bicep forearm core okay you feel it yes like really use your core there you go push down easier because in a few moments we're gonna get to the summit and I want you to start time trialing let's see if you have enough energy to continue the speed because a while ago obviously you were a little bit dead okay get to the summit yeah. keep on going because now we're gonna go to the flats okay here we go push down lift up huh? there you go keep on going there you go something comfortable you're not sprinting yet but just hold on hold on to the arrow bars there you go very good very nice very nice on my cue we're gonna start sprinting okay Tom hold on because we don't want the bike to get out okay on my cue I want you to really sprint I want you to destroy the bike okay ready set go 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 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 4 Two. done <laughs> stay upright 
I can say right now, your facial expression is totally different from the first time. All right. Okay, without any script, right off the bat, well, describe what you feel. You know better. You've been riding for three years. Yeah, I think the right posture and alignment of the various touch points allows me to drive cycle more comfortably. And I think that also allows me to execute more torque with the right muscle. Right. You see your sweat? It's not as much as a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. You see your heart rate goes down fast. You know you worked out, but it's manageable workout. Yes. It's a surreal feeling. As soon as you mo feel it, it's yeah. like a eureka moment. It's like... Yeah. Now, I'm not... So, we've been talking for 50 seconds. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna sprint again. Okay? Hold on. I just want to prove to you now you can put multiple effort. Okay. Don't move. Yeah, that's it. On my cue, when I say go... You just apply power for five seconds, okay? On my cue, not yet. Ready? Set. Boom, go, go, go. Set, go, go, go. go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Go. Go. Five. Four. Look up. Two. Look up. Come on. Two. Done. Perfect. I'm gonna see that's a second sprint. Yeah. Next, I'm gonna break. Hold on to the drops. Alright. Go to my? Yeah. Same idea. The moment that I say go, this one. You go down, pull it downwards, okay? Pull it downwards. Yeah, that's it. Later, okay? You should feel it in your chest. Okay. Hold it. Set. Now. Go. Yeah! Go, 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 go! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look up, look up, come on, come on. Go. Five, go. four, three, two, done. How many sprints are those? Three. 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 No rest yet. No rest, no rest, no rest. Come on. Lower, lower. Yeah, that's it, huh? Pull it down, huh? And then look here. Ready, set, go, 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 go. Five, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, push, four, push, come on. Three, more, more, more. Done. Done. Nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. Come on, eleven, ten, nine, eight. That's it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's very good. You are more in control. And like a while ago, you were gripping it, right? Lat muscles, this one. Bicep, forearm, core, okay? You feel it? Yes. Like really use your core. There you go. Push. Down. Easier trailing. Maintain the same posture, okay? Ready. Set. Once you get to the summit, once you get to the summit, keep on going. Because now we're going to go to the flats, okay? Here we go. Push down, lift up, huh? There you go. Keep on going. Come on, 11, there you go. Something 10, comfortable. You're not sprinting 9, yet, but just eight, hold on, hold on to the Six, arrow bars. Five, there you go. Four, Very three, good. Two, Very nice. Come on. Nine. Four, eight. Four, seven. Four, six. Four, five. Four, 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 three. Four, two. Four, done. <laughs> Stay upright. Okay, without any script, right off the bat. The real test, remember I told you a while ago, remember everything that you feel. Yeah. Tom, can you hold the bike? Yep, because yep. he might have jello legs. Oh, okay. Get off the bike. Try to describe to me the legs, huh? Because you, you feel it a while ago. All right. How do you feel? Good. I think the... The right posture has allowed me to actually execute the spring at a very natural, very comfortable position. How are your legs? I mean, that's the most important part. Yeah. After four sprints and climbing, you feel okay? Okay. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
It never gets old. Never huh? gets old <laughs> ever. <laughs> Whew. Is it worth it? All right, I have sense. Worth it. Thanks, coach. So that was different, huh? Yeah. From okay. your from your point of view, you think we can help a lot of friends here in Singapore? Yeah, I think for every cyclist who really wants to challenge yourself to the next level of competitiveness within yourself, I think biomechanics is really something you can look forward to help yourself better understand how the bike helps you to perform better and importantly you can ride more happily correct correct and 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 we always mentioned it a while ago i mean and this is very important okay so for most of the newbies out there we always say if you just want to start your cycling just like how you started it okay. your local bike feeder can help you go to your local bike feeder they have all the tools they have all the knowledge they have all the education to help you jump start your cycling yeah. I can guarantee you that they can help you get comfortable. Yes. However, if you want to graduate from the comfort level and you want to start maybe exploring what your other potential is all about, that's when biomechanics can complement what your trusted local bike fitter did for you. Yeah, agree. So these two systems complement each other. You agree? Totally agree. So biomechanics is an alternative solution if you think you've reached a plateau yes and you can't understand what you have to buy on the on the bike shop or etc maybe it's not the bike anymore maybe it's the engine all right and looking at your face right now I mean I'm looking at your face right now totally different demeanor yeah I can feel it okay thank you very much man thank you so the next project for Winston's that we're gonna be riding together yeah. because all this stuff is theory this is all useless if he cannot apply it on the real world. Agree? Agree. And just like what we said, if it doesn't work, we're just going to have coffee. All right. Done? Done. Thanks, Tank. Thanks, all the right. one uh, behind us. There you go. So, you next uh, target, we're going to go to Salatar. And Salatar yeah, tonight, 8 o'clock. Okay. Bye. See ya. Here we go. Now we're going to start time trialing. Maintain the same posture, okay? Once you get to the summit, once you get to the summit, keep on going because now we're going to go to the flats. Okay, here we go. Push down, lift up. Huh? There you go. Keep on going. There you go. Something comfortable. You're not sprinting yet, but just hold on, hold on to the... Thank you very much for the cupcakes, man. Welcome. Very we good. Very nice, very nice. On my cue, we're going to start sprinting, okay? Tom, hold on because we don't want the bike to get out. Okay, on my cue, I want you to really sprint. I want you to destroy the bike, okay? Is it bad that Ready? I just want to destroy the cupcakes? Set. <laughs> go, go, go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Wow. Seven. Six. She has five, stayed away, huh? Four. Three. Two. Done. That's you, man. That's right. you. <laughs>